Disclaimer, no copyright infringement intended. I do not own the videos, images, graphics, and audios that I used in this video. They belong to their respective and rightful owner. Kids, I am teacher Trexy Kias, your science teacher for today. Before we going to start our lesson, please stand up and let us pray. Harriet, can you please lead us the prayer? Almighty God, you are the source of life. We thank you for all the blessings you have given to us. Thank you for giving us another day to learn something new. Clear our mind and help us focus. Guide us and our teacher as we study and create new learning experiences. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Good morning, class. Good morning, teacher. Pedley, check if there are pieces of paper or plastic under your chair. Pick it up and arrange your perspective chairs properly. You may now take your seat. How's your day, class? We are on good day, chair. Okay, class. Do you want to play a crossword puzzle? Yes, teacher. We love to. Great. Look into the board. I have posted here some crossword puzzle. Listen to my instruction class. First, locate the following words in the crossword puzzle. Soil, sand, loam, and clay are the words that you need to find. Who wants to go first and find the word soil on the board? Me, teacher. Yes, Charlie Luz. Very good. Next, who wants to cross out the word sun? Teacher. Yes, Lance. Okay, great. Who wants to find the next word? Long. Teacher. Yes, Lydell. Very good. And the last word, which is clay. Who wants to find it? Teacher. Yes, Rex. Great. Okay, class. Let's give them five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Now, based on what we play, do you have any idea what is our topic for today? Okay, Chloe. Can you share your idea? Sign teacher. Very good, Chloe. Who else have any idea about our topic for today? Types of sign teacher. Very good, class. Our topic for today is all about the types of soil. Class, listen carefully. Keep quiet when I am talking and raise your hand if you have some questions. Understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, I will present to you the different types of soil. Soil is formed from the breakdown of rocks and minerals on the Earth's surface through weathering and erosion. Soil is important for growth and life of plants. It helps hold the plants straight up and a source of nutrients and water which the plant use for growth and living. Let us learn more about the three types of soil. Sandy soil consists of small particles of weathered rocks. It has the largest particles among the three types of soil. Its texture is rough. Drainage system and aeration are good. However, it has low nutrients and poor water holding capacity. Clay soil. 
it has the smallest particles among the three types of soil. Its texture is fine and rich in nutrients which plants need. The soil particles are tightly packed with very little or no air space. The soil has very good water holding capacity. Clay is the densest and heaviest type of soil which does not drain well. Loam soil It is a combination of sand, silt, and clay. Its texture is rather fine. It's black or brown because of a high amount of humus. It has the ability to retain moisture and nutrients. Class, what are the three types of soil? Teacher, the three types of soil are sand, loam, and clay. Great! I have here some sample of soil. Notice on the characteristics of each type of soil. Teacher, the characteristics of sand is a soil with coarse and loose particles. It is loose and easy to dig, but it cannot hold water and nutrients as well. While loam is a mixture of sand and clay, it has a fine texture, and the clay is a soil that made up of very fine particles of rocks, and its particles are packed together tightly. This soil can be used in making pots. Very good class! Job well done! Now, you are all ready for the activities. For the direction, identify the types of soil described in each number. Okay, let's answer this. On the first question, it has coarse and loose particles. The answer is sand. Next, it contains large amount of decaying plants and animals. The answer is loam. And the last one, this type of soil is made up of very fine particle of rocks and its particles are packed together tightly. What is the answer class? Clay teacher. Very good. The answer is clay. Now, we will having a short quiz. Read each question carefully and circle the letter of the correct answer. Okay class, you may now start. Time's up! Okay class, are you all done? Great! Now, let us start answering the first question. In number one, which is made up of smallest particles of rocks which contain decayed matter of plants and animals? A. Land B. Mineral C. Soil D. Water the correct answer is letter C, soil. Number two, how many types of soil are there? A, two, B, one, C, three, or D, four. What is the answer class? Letter C, teacher. Great! The answer is letter C, three. In number three, which soil holds much water? A. Loam B. Clay C. Sand or D. Silt The correct answer is letter B. Clay In number 4 Which is soil important to living things because it A. Forms part of the earth where animals live B. Provides the necessary nutrients needed by plants C. Serves as a place where people live. Or D. All of the above. The answer here is letter D. All of the above. 
And for the last number, which soil type is good for making pots? A. Clay B. Loam C. Soil or D. Silk So, what is the answer, class? Letter A. Picture clay Yes, the answer is letter A. Clay For your next activity, list down the uses of the three types of soil. Put it on the table below. Okay, class. Now, we have another play. Let's play four picks, one word. Study the pictures and write the word or words related to the picture in a piece of paper. Kids, you may now start to answering this. Okay class, time's up. Let's answer this. Soil. Soil is everywhere and it covers much of the surface of the earth. It is the loose material on the surface of the earth. A. Clay feels sticky when wet and hard as stone when dry. Usually used in pottery. Loam. Very good. Loam contains minerals from dead plants and decayed organic matter called humus. Used as media for most plants. Sand. Sand feels gritty, grainy, or coarse. It is usually used for construction and as potting mix for cactus and succulent plants. Wow! Job well done! Now, you are ready for the activities. Now, let's check if you really understood the discussion by doing this. For your activities, make a collage of the three types of soil and their uses. Okay class, time's up and let's check your work. Did you enjoy our science exploration kids? Yes teacher. Yes, that's great. Were you able to identify the types of soil and its characteristics? Yes teacher. Good job. Hope you answer all the activities in your module. Thank you class. Goodbye. Thank you.